Hey everyone, and welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to properly animate trim paths on vector layers inside of After Effects. Now basically, instead of this happening, we are going to create something like this. And without wasting any more time, let's go. First, I have this illustrator drawing that I made. We are going to be working on this. This file is already prepared. We have four layers, four different paths inside of these layers. So we can jump into the After Effects right now. I will save this and open up Adobe After Effects. I will create a new composition. I will name this Animating Trim Paths on AI Layers. I will leave the resolution 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds duration. OK. And now I will drag the file that I've saved into this composition, place it in. I will import it as a composition. Footage dimensions will be document size. OK. And now we have our drawing inside of it. It's a standalone composition. We have our four layers here. We can see them because uh, they are black as well. I will right click this, create, create shapes from vector layer to get these shapes. Now I will delete these because I don't need them anymore. So now we have four shapes. I will go to fill and choose white color just so we can see it. And here it is. Now every single one of these shapes is a fill. This is not a stroke. We can see that it's a closed path, right? So when we apply trim paths, weird stuff is going to happen. Now let me fit this back up. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say we want to put trim paths on the layer 4, on the stop layer. I will go to add and uh, use trim paths. Click here. Now let's see what's happening. Let's say we want to animate end. Look at this. We will get this weird thingy happening, right? Now to avoid this, what I've found out is the following. I will place this in the beginning. Put start on 50% and put the end on 50% as well. We can see there is nothing here. I will put a keyframe. And then I will hold Control Shift and uh, right arrow to move 10 frames. I will leave Shift, just hold Control to move like, let's say, 5 more frames. Now we can put Start at 100% and End at uh, 0%. And now we get something like this. Now we can play with the offset a little bit, just to make this line, you see, uh, like this. So this is the animation that we get. This is way better than the thing that was happening before. This is the method that you can apply to all of these shapes. I will select all of these keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them, go to the graph editor, and uh, I will hold Alt to zoom in and drag this handle to the left. And uh, now we got something like this. Maybe that's a little bit too fast, so we can like drag these keyframes out to maybe one second. And we've created our first animation. We can click on Trim Paths, Control C to copy them, close this, expand Layer 3 Outlines, Contents, Group, and Control v to paste it now we can click on the layer press u just to show these keyframes and we can drag them let's say here we have this we can even drag them a bit on the left to get this now we've animated the second part of this you can play around with the animation however you like, but you get the idea. We can fix that. Now we can go to layer 2 outlines, contents, 
and we can uh, paste it here. Maybe press U to select the keyframes. Maybe move them a little bit. Press U again to close that. Go to layer 1 outlines. Now let's see where the animation ends here. So maybe we can press on group 1. Expand it just to see that. Press U to show them. And here it is. So we can move this a little bit to the left so it starts faster. There we go. We've animated this using trim paths. Now if if you don't like the offset here, you see, we can just expand this and uh, click on offset and move it however you like. So we get the clean animation. Now we can uh, add blur. If you don't see this column, you can pr press F4 on your keyboard to toggle it, or you can go here to the left corner and see here expand or collapse the layer switches pane, or expand or collapse the transfer controls pane, or you can simply right click here, columns, and choose which one you want modes or switches. Now let me fit this back up, and yeah, this is the animation that we got. Now what we will be using in the second method is pen tool. So we will basically draw shapes with stroke to animate it easier using trim paths. Let me show you what I mean. I will hide these layers. So I will start only with this layer, layer 4. I will click on the pen tool. I will click on fill. Uh, we don't need any fill. Remove this. I will leave stroke to purple and then uh, stroke width maybe 20. I will put it on 20. Now I will create one point here and one point here. And while holding the left click, I'm going to make this shape like this. Maybe around here. Now I will hold Alt and click on this handle to drag it like this just so our next point plays according to our needs. Maybe I can put the point here and let's see what happens. Yeah, this is good. We can leave the point right here. So let's say this is shape that we want. Now I will make our stroke a bit bigger just so it covers the whole thing. Uh, let it be 35. Let's say 35. Okay, so this shape, we are going to use it as a track mat. We will place it above the layer 4, because we can see that's our layer. We've covered everything. Now we go here to the track mat and set it on alpha. Now what we will do is go to shape layer 1, contents, shape, and we will add trim paths. Open up trim paths and we will put the end to zero. Put a keyframe in the beginning. Move forward holding control and shift and pressing the right arrow. We will move 20 frames and we will put this up to 100. And now what we did here basically is we animated this shape layer 1 which is alpha mat to this layer 4. And now we get this. We basically got the same animation as in the beginning. So we can press, we can hold these keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them, go to the graph editor. And in case you don't see this graph, you can right click edit speed graph. Maybe you have edit value graph selected. Hold this one, move it to the left. And now we get that fast animation. We can press blur. Blur is enabled. Make sure it's enabled here. So we get this. It looks amazing. Now we're going to have to do this for every single layer. We can hide this layer. We can open up the layer 3. 
and uh, we can start drawing but it's the same layer as the one above so we can duplicate by pressing ctrl d put this one up here and we can simply go to layer transform and flip vertical so now we have this layer we can press on uh, alpha mat on the layer 3 outlines and we get this so let's see both of them now let me fit this up that is our animation at the moment now what we will do is reveal this layer close these now we will go to, to the pen tool put one hand here hold shift put it here and we've covered everything up so you can see clearly you can make it smaller if you want we will expand this contents shape add trim paths and now we can animate this however we want so now we will put end down to zero whoops down to zero put a keyframe here move 20 fa frames forward put this on 100 and there we have it maybe enable the blur instantly close contents close this click on layer 2 because that's our layer 2 put it on alpha mat so now i will fit this up to 100 and we get something like this now that's a bit slow if you ask me i will click on this shape layer 3 press u uh, f9 easy ease them make sure we are editing speed graph so take this handle put it to the left close and we got the animation there so now if we enable these layers we will get something like this move them a little bit there we go and for the last layer let's show it hide the other ones uh, make sure we select pen i will put one point here and while holding down shift and left click i will put one here and uh, move it like this i guess so we get something like uh, the curve maybe i've zoomed in a little bit but i think this will be fine let me zoom out okay yeah this is fine i will fit this up to 100 from shape 3 i will copy the trim paths click on shape layer 4 open contents shape 1 and paste it here now i will press u and uh, i will enable blur i will show all of these layers I will put this on the alpha mat shape 4 and there we go this is our animation and that's it for this tutorial I hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next one